Hey guys, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with a DIY for you. I'm going to be making a Christmas wreath. Everything that I'm going to be using is stuff that I've sourced out and about, so it hasn't cost me anything. The only things that you're going to need are a pair of secateurs to do the cutting and some wire to hold everything together. So let's get cracking. Okay, so let's start with the base of the wreath. So what I'm using for this is this willow. So I've just gone and cut this from a weeping willow tree. Um, so if you've got one of those nearby, you just need to go and grab a load of these um, that they're hanging down. You pull it right down so get as long a bit as you can and then just cut it all off. And we're gonna start off by just taking a decent long section like this and you're gonna create the first kind of circle for your wreath base. So choose the size that you wanna go. I wanna go quite big with mine, but bear in mind that it's gonna get thicker. So I'm thinking about that. And then what I'm gonna do with this first piece is see you've got the hard edge here. That's the bit that you need to kind of tuck under to make a bit of a, what do you call it? I don't know just to sort of secure it there. And I'm gonna wire this first one so that it's um, secure. The rest of them I'm not gonna wire, but I'm just gonna do this one so that we know that that's sort of intact. So let's just show you that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the um, remaining bit and just wrap it around. So as you can see, it's starting to take shape, but it's sort of squished, it's not a circle. So the next um, piece that I'm gonna put in, see you've got the hard edge here, I'm gonna put it on, on the opposite side and it's gonna start to make it um, become more of a circular shape. I'm gonna put it in next to that first one, like that. Take it all the way around to this edge. And then we're gonna just keep winding it like that. So next strand, show that again. So start off with matching the one that you just put in. So shove it in like that, so it's matching. That makes sense. So you've got both bits sticking out. And then just bring it around a quarter way. Start that one off there. And then we're just going to go the same again, just keep winding it around. If you reach through it, like that. Reach through and pull the things through towards you. Okay, I'm not going to lie guys, already this is way more difficult than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh well, we'll persevere. Can you tell that I've never done this before? It's starting to take shape I think, it's getting a bit thicker now. I've somehow managed to get a piece uh, attached from the, over here, right, there we go. This does require perseverance. I think, I mean, to be honest, I think you could probably stop there and hang that on your door with a bit of um, something added to it. You tie a ribbon around that, I reckon, and whack it on your door. I might just do that. As you're doing it, try to keep bending it back into a circle so that it starts to, yeah, that's better create a circular shape. Circular, do you reckon? By the way, there are some videos on YouTube specifically to do this section. So if you found my demonstration uh, not very good, because I don't know, I don't know if I'm showing you right, um, then do check those out. Just type in Willow Wreath Base and you can have a look at those to get maybe a better idea. Because um, there's some people out there that have got their technique. I actually forgot I was filming a video for a second then. I was concentrating so much, I was like, um, hello, sorry, um, I hope you're <laughs> bearing with me. So this bit's nearly done. Um, so I've probably done probably 20 of odd of these um, willow branches, just keeping on wrapping them around. And um, yeah, as you can see, I think it's looking quite decent now. It's starting to take shape. I'm feeling hopeful. What I should have done is made some more wine or something while I'm doing this. I think it might make it more <laughs> pleasurable. Instead I've got a coffee. Or Bailey's would have been quite nice. A little glass of Prosecco. Which 
What's your favourite Christmas tipple? Gin and tonic? There we go, look. That's actually looking really decent now. So that is the wreath base complete. As you can see, I've left all these bits poking out. I'm going to probably chop off these ones, but I might leave these thinner ones on because I think they look quite cool just poking out randomly and they'll make the whole thing look a bit bigger. So let's get cracking with the next step. So I'm just going to snip off the big bits that are sticking out because I think those are going to get in the way. So I'm just going to go in the direction that they are poking out with the secateurs just to give it a bit of a tidy up. And I'm leaving a little bit of distance here just so that it doesn't sort of ping out and lose its position. So you just need that to hold it in place. There isn't actually that many, just to tidy those up. There we go. So now I've got the wreath um, all tidied up a little bit. And the next step is to start adding some moss. So I've just gone out and picked this off a wall. It was actually just growing on a wall. Um, I was in the countryside, so took the opportunity to collect some moss. So what I've realized is that you probably do need one more thing, and that is some kind of wire that you can wind around it, which I don't have, so I'm using dental floss. So I'm just gonna go pack it on and pull that round really tightly so you can't see it. Okay, so now we've got the wreath uh, base sorted and we've got moss all around one side. So yeah, I've left the top uh, free of any moss just because I thought it might be quite nice to see some of that. So you can kind of see how it's constructed. Um, and just to show you the back, so you can just see how I've wound it. I've picked loads and loads of uh, greenery. Um, so I've got um, sort of different furs and Oh, I don't know any of the names. I need to ask my brother, who's a tree surgeon. I should have him with me. But I basically picked loads of evergreen stuff. Take a few sections of the greenery and you just kind of choose a few different things, different textures on it. Um, so I've got a bit, a few different furs here that I've collected. And then I'm just going to add them together to kind of make one little sprig and wrap the wire around it. And then that is ready to go on. So you just need to uh, po poke the wire through and uh, find a position for that to stick out. And then I'm gonna keep going all the way around till all uh, most of this section's full. So you just put them in and bend it back on itself and then wrap it around the back to secure it. As I'm going as well, I'm trying to go in uh, to the circle as well as out, if that makes sense, so that it starts to fill out the shape a bit more. I swear the guys um, in the videos that I watched making these made it look a whole lot easier than it has been. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't been really difficult, but uh, they just seem to glide through it without getting twigs in their eyes and, I don't know, splinters and rubbish everywhere. Like, you should see the state of my lounge. Okay, the other thing I got was some ivy that's just um, sort of already on the vine, <laughs> like ivy comes at any other way, um, but you know what I'm saying. Just go around the top section, poke it in, and just add that. Sorry, can you see? And I think this might be just quite good to disguise any of the little joins where the wires are on there. So I think it just needs a bit more filling out here because there's some areas where you can still see the wires. And then I'm just going to add a few final sort of decorations with some uh, brighter coloured uh, bits of uh, foliage and some berries. I'm just going to trim off all those excess bits of willow now because they are looking really messy. So any bits that are getting in the way, I'm just going to get rid of those.
I say actually snipping off those bits is probably the most satisfying part of the entire process. I'm at the stage now where I'm just trying to poke bits in rather than wiring them because I don't want any wire to show. So I'm just trying to sort of like fill in any gaps by just prodding it into any wire that's already there or any um, sort of little holes that I can work it into. I'm just going in with some individual uh, hawthorn berries now, which I think look quite festive. I'm just poking them in and they seem to sort of find a, something to cling on to. And they've actually got little, um, I was going to say claws, <laughs> uh, thorns that kind of, once you've poked it in, they kind of go back on themselves and grip. Next thing I'm going to add is these stems. I don't know what these are either. I think they're kind of ivy. Um, I see them everywhere, but they look, I think the head bits look quite cool. Okay, I think I'm nearly finished. I think the last thing I'm going to do is just add some um, some sort of really nice pieces along the front here. I'm just trying to weave it in as well as I can without using wire, but I think I just might need to use one piece. I'm just going to fold it over like a like hairpin and just push it through. And finally, I'm just going to add a couple of um, fir cones, pine cones. So there we have it, guys. That's the finished wreath. I hope that's inspired some of you guys to have a go yourselves to make your own. If you do, please let me know how you get on in the comments below or tag your pictures. And yeah, I'm going to hang this on my front door now, so I'll show you a quick shot of how it's looking out there. Hope you all have a great Christmas and thanks for watching.